Whoop, there's one. Ah, got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> <Yee! laughs> nah, he's not very big. They love it though. It doesn't matter. They don't all have to be giants. These little ones count as one, just like a giant counts as one. Don't you come off. Don't you, where's the fat little rascal? They are so fat and beautiful this time of the year. You are beauty. Pretty nice fish though. Look how fat and pretty he is. There's, oh, that was good. Even if it's cold. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's a beauty. That is a beauty. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Jig. Go find me a head and a tail that wiggles. <laughs> yes! I'm going as far as I possibly can out there. Let her fall. Get down on the bottom. Fish are not suspended much right now. They're down on the bottom. They need to start suspending a little bit. And Jimmy, you got your jig in the grass. Get out of the grass. I'll be some bass in that grass though. A little warmer in there for them. A little bit warmer in the grass. Get my jig out of there. A lot of times when you pop it out of that grass is when you get a bite. Not today. Need to hit an open spot in, in that grass. That's where there'll probably be lands in those open spots. I want a lot of money fishing open spots in grass. Last tournament that we had at FLW, at FLW tournament, we had at Rayburn a couple, two or three years ago. I finished up real high and won $10,000 fishing open spots in the grass, and some of them were just absolutely loaded with fish. I'm talking loaded with fish. I wonder if I throw out there by that tree. Ooh, right beside the tree. <laughs> Ought to catch two on that cast. You only got one hook, Jimmy. Well, actually that's happened. They've situation one time where Bobby Murray and somebody was fishing and a guy that took the worm in and it come out the gill plate and another bass bought it, bit it. They both set the hook and they both caught it. They took it to the weigh-in. I think they ended up flipping a coin. I just said cut it in two and we'll each take half. I'll take the front half. <laughs> in the grass, in the grass, in the grass. I wonder what happens if I just swim that jig over the top of the grass. Swim jig. That's not the best trailer on there. But the swim a jig is the only thing. I'll swim it though. Water's probably so cold, there's not much up there shallow. They're all out there 15, 18, 20 foot deep. Cold, cold water. The fish's lips are cold. They probably liked it. My lips are hot. <laughs> they going back down there and saying, Woohoo! Oh, hot lips, Jimmy caught me. <laughs> oh, mercy. What are you talking about, Jimmy? There's that grass that we're fishing. Right there, that's what, that's the grass we're down in. It's good and pretty and green. Really good grass. That's what it is. Whoop, 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 whoops. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Another little one. Either that or he's swimming right at me. They're getting smaller. <laughs> They're getting smaller. They're supposed to be getting bigger. They're getting smaller. Hey, we'll take them. They don't have to all be giants. We'll take them. We'll take them that size all day long, won't we? Sure. Yeah, nothing wrong with that size fish. It just his head's growing a little bit too close to his tail, so. <laughs> hey, that's a trifecta, not bad. So, out there at the same spot. These fish, a lot of them are bunched up this time of the year, so you really want to fish 
you know, you catch a fish, you throw right back in that exact same spot. I mean, exact same spot, not 10 foot to the left, 10 foot to the right, five foot, whatever, throw back in that exact same spot. And, uh, and uh, you know, so I'm dragging this bait on the bottom. I'm really not working it much. I'm just barely moving it and dragging it, barely moving it and dragging it. My rod tip, I'd like to keep straight up when I'm fishing like that. The higher you got your rod tip, the more sensitive your rod is. I'm using one of the Jimmy Houston Blaze Series rods. Rod sells for 59 bucks, comparable to a two, three hundred dollar rod. 59 bucks, Blaze Series. The higher you keep your rod, the more sensitive it is, whether you're using a $59 rod or a $500 rod. You get it down, rod tip down low, not nearly as sensitive, so keep your rod tip up high. Been a good time to get a bite, wouldn't it? Okay, guys and girls, about getting dark. One more cast, one more cast, all right? Really had a pretty good time out here, a little bit I fished. Hadn't caught them ever cast by any stretch of the imagination, but I have caught a couple. <laughs> I think three, exactly, if I'm remembering correctly. I can count. I've caught three. Cold weather, cold bass. Fish down on the bottom. Drag that old Lucky Strike jig down there. Out there 18, 20 foot deep. I'm out there 18 or 20 foot deep. Might not be quite that deep with the water down like it is, but that's probably just about right. Every now and then I pull across a little bit of gravel or some brush or something like that. That's where those fish are. They're around that stuff. It's, it's little stuff. It's not big stuff. I'm throwing it out there just about as far as I can throw it and working it just about as slow as I possibly can. And it's working, you know, okay. I haven't smashed them. I haven't caught any big ones, real big ones. You know, that first one was really nice. But... Uh, We'll take it for a February day, the first fish in February. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that is very good. February 1, by the way. <laughs> I don't know when we'll get this thing up. Might get it up February 2 or 3. I don't know. I'll send it to Pat, let him play with it. Let Pat Cecil B. the Mills, Pat Turner, do his little magic in it. Well, here's where my line's tied together. I'm throwing so far, my line's tied together. You see that right there? Can you see that little bitty tiny knot? Little bitty tiny knot. Tie that line together. I need to put some new line on here. It's getting. That's why I can't throw quite as far. I don't have quite as much line on. So I've got a bunch. If you fill it all the way up, that lets gives you a little bit more distance. It's too many people don't put enough line on the reels. Fill them babies up all the way. You get all the speed out of it, and you get all the distance out of it. And if you retie a lot, like I do, you change lures a lot, like a lot of people do, keep that baby full. All right, one more cast. <laughs> I didn't say one more cast, did I? I didn't do that, did I? No, no, no. This is it right here. This is it. It's the last cast. Look at that red sky. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Look at that. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Now let me tell you, sailor's going to freeze his fanny off in the next day or two. That's right. We got one coming in. We have not had any moisture at all in 2022. This is February 1, and we had zero, zero in January here at the ranch. Zero. That's why this is so far down to the water. I don't you get, I don't, if I lay down there to try, if I lay on the dock like I do when I get those big fish, those five, six, seven, eight pound fish, I lay down on the dock to get them, I'm not sure I can reach them. I'm not sure I can reach them. That's why I'm only catching small ones. <laughs> if you believe that, I have some land to sell you in Arabia. <laughs> got oil under it. Really, you got oil under it. Yep. Ooh, I thought that was a fish. Ah. <sighs> I need to fish a spinning reel a little bit. My left arm's getting tired of holding it up there. It's been a pretty slow bite, really. You'd think that with that storm coming in like it is, that they'd be biting a little better. I love those sunsets when that sky is bright red in the evening. Red sky in the morning? What's that? What's that? Sailors take warning. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. It means it's going to get calm and pretty. Calm and pretty. It's calming down right now. Pretty nice. Pretty windy today. 
south wind. It's going to change out of the north and it's going to be a humdinger. A humdinger. Oh, I forgot. I wasn't going to make another cast, was I? One more cast. I promise you, if I get a fish on this cast, if I even if I get a bite on this cast, that's it. That's it. This is my last cast. Don't y'all lay any money on it. If you do, you have to send me money because this is going to be my last cast. Unless I catch one. <laughs> Come on, baby. Bite that booger. Bite that booger. Oh, there's all my babies up in the yard. Look up there. Can y'all see those? Can y'all see my babies up there? All my deer are up there. Quite a few of them up there feeding. Feeding on that little bitty tiny green clover in that brown grass. Brown grass. Ah. Well, looks like that we didn't catch one on the last cast. Guys and girls, have a great one. Remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>